It says 16 spirits mentioned in the Bible. Say louder. 16 spirits mentioned in the Bible. Are you here? Now, I'm not saying it's a teaching of 15 or 12. No. In the Bible, there are 16. They are not 17. They are not 10. There are 16 spirits mentioned in the Bible. There are so many demons. We don't want to talk about it. There are so many demons. We're not talking about demons. We are talking about spirits. So demons originate from these spirits. These spirits, therefore, they are principalities. Now, if you do not understand how they operate, you may be in church having a spirit influencing you without even you knowing. We mention about the first spirit, which is the spirit of what? Divination. A divination spirit, we looked upon it, and I shared with you how it operates. I also spoke to you about the spirit of what? Familiar spirits. And I told you, familiar spirits are spirits which operate in a familiar manner. If the spirit is a dog, it influences you to behave like a dog. If a spirit is a tortoise, your business will be in a slow motion like a tortoise. It is a familiar spirit. And I told you, you can be attacked by these spirits and you may not even know you are attacked by these spirits. Somebody say number three. You ready for this one? I will talk about the spirit of heaviness. Say the spirit of heaviness. Now I want you to go to Isaiah. We go in the book of Isaiah. Let's go in the book of Isaiah 61 verse 3. To console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. For the spirit of heaviness. Did you hear the word there? It is not saying for a demon, but for the spirit of heaviness. I know some people here, you don't even know whether this spirit works on you or not. You will realize as I teach you, it is a spirit that attacks so many believers without the believers knowing. So, mm hmm Mm. If you're following, raise your hand. Is that following major? I am following major. Now watch this. The spirit of heaviness, the Bible actually says God will remove that spirit. Can you imagine? God is talking to his people. These are not heathens. These are God's people. They are under attack of a spirit of heaviness. So what is the spirit of heaviness? How do you know you are under a attack by this spirit? How many wants to know? How can I know this spirit has attacked me? Now, I want you to see this because there will be deliverances happening this weekend. Now, let me, let me read it for you quickly. All right? So the Bible says, I will, I will do what? For the spirit of heaviness, God will give you what? Joy. Now, I want you to see something here that is very, very important. How do one know that they are under attack of the spirit of heaviness? Yes, now, sir. number one, you, you following? Sorrow. Somebody say sorrow. 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 Being sorrowful. Do you know there are people? Do you know there are people? They are just okay. But sometimes, I know we all lose loved ones. I know events happen. But do you know what happens sometimes? Some people, a spirit takes advantage. And then you become sorrowful. All the times, 
Number two. Crying. There are people, if you want to know whether you're under attack of this spirit, is excess crying. They don't even realize what makes them cry. And all of a sudden, they begin to cry. You are under attack by the spirit of heaviness. Are you, are you following? Number three, arthritis. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 17, verse 22. We find how the heavy spirit brings look at the scripture. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Arthritis, it is a disease caused by the dryness of bones. Every person on their joints, they have a fluid, synovial fluid, which the moment it dries, bones begin to crack, and it is called arthritis. And the Bible says a broken spirit causes what? The bones. Hear me. Hear me. I'm not saying all oh, arthritis, Remember? We have got most problems both in the natural and in the spiritual. There are some problems are natural, health in nature. But if you see the Bible, most of what Jesus was dealing with was spiritual. The enemy will bring the heaviness over your life. And he knows it is not just heaviness he's bringing, but he's bringing a spirit of arthritis. Somebody say, out. out. Come on, somebody speak louder. Say, come out. So you may not realize your child will begin to mess up in the house. And all of a sudden, the father or the mother begin to think so much about their child. And in the thinking, the enemy brings the spirit of heaviness or a broken spirit. And before you know it, other problems are developing. You have arthritis. Some say, I rebuke you, arthritis. <laughs> now, but I want you to say this. So the devil knows you will not notice it. You won't notice it. So we have people right now who the spirit of brokenness or, uh, or heaviness has attacked them and they're not aware. Now let's go ahead. How do you also know you have the spirit? You are under attack by a spirit of heaviness. I told you, right? Rejection. 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 The moment you begin to feel rejected, the spirit of heaviness is on you. Don't worry, we'll look on the scriptures very soon. We'll look on a lot of scriptures. Rejection. All of a sudden, you begin to feel unloved, unwanted, rejected. Just know that you are under attack of the spirit of heaviness. Raise up your hand. I said, I rebuke you. All of a sudden, you begin to feel rejection. I told you before, some of us, we don't consider rejection as a big matter. We don't take rejection seriously and go in a room and begin to say, why are they rejecting me? Why are they saying this? No. Rejection is God's protection. Rejection is what? If God wants to protect you from certain people, he makes them reject you. So if you want to know, do I have the spirit of heaviness? Rejection. Rejection, you begin to feel rejected, unwanted, unappreciated, unloved. It happens sometimes, but the moment it becomes something that you feel all the times, you feel, oh, this, it can't happen everyone to hate you. It can't happen. It is a spirit of heaviness. It wants you to be feeling heavy. And many believers are in church. They are feeling rejection. 
and they are praying. They speak in tongues and they feel rejection and they don't know that's how the devil penetrates to strong believers. He makes them feel rejected and they don't know it is a spirit. Somebody shout, I'm accepted. Another way you know you are under the spirit of heaviness is anxiety. We have so many believers today who this spirit has attacked them. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. Anxiety. What do you think? I don't know. You know? Anxiety. Panic. Panic attacks. God does not help people who are panicking. He does not. Because the moment there is panic, there is no God. And the moment there is panic, there is a demon of heaviness. It's a demon. It's a spirit of panic. God said, until you are still. He says, be still and you know I am the Lord. God will not show up where people are panicking. You may be in church. The moment this spirit of panic... Just know you're under attack. This spirit is trying to attack you. Somebody say, I rebuke this spirit now. <laughs> depression is also part of the spirit of heaviness. Say depression. Say depression. We have somebody right now depressed. You are depressed. You are under attack of a spirit of heaviness. And you know, you, you just go into this mood, boom. You begin to think about the matter. So much about it. So much. You are cornered. No hope. Hopeless. You are so hopeless. It is a spirit of heaviness. No matter how a man of God may lay a hand upon you, you will never receive. No matter how we cast our demons around you, you will not receive because there is a spirit of heaviness. There is no hope. Despair is another sign that you under attack. Despair is, it, it is a sign of heaviness. When you under despair, it means that you have actually turned your back against hope. There is no hope. So you sit there and say, uh, Papa, you know, I was believing God for this to happen, to happen. Hey, by the way, things are happening. I don't know whether to happen or not. You are under despair, heaviness. I rebuke you. Now, watch this. What is another sign? Grief. Grief. We have people here, oh, what's the difference, by the way, sorrow and grief? They are not much different, only that sorrow, most of the times, sorrow is when you are so sorrowful, you know, people may, it may read you to cry, but grief is when you just, it just comes so heavy, so heavy upon you over some situation, and it may even come because of unforgiveness, sometimes past regret. You committed something or you did something wrong. You prayed about it and you believed God forgave you. But it keep on coming. You know? So there is this self-condemnation. You are attacked. You are under a spell of heaviness. And I want you to see this. The quicker, the better you rebuke this spirit. Because the Bible says the moment it is there... There will be no joy in your life. The moment it is true there, there will be no gladness in your life. It blocks anything joyful. It blocks any good news in your life. Somebody said, rebuke you now. Are you ready for this one? Now, quickly, let me just show you another thing. And then we're going to scripture. All right? Inner hearts. Inner hearts. You hear people who say, oh, I'm broken. 
My heart is broken. In our hearts, it's normal, it's biological for you to be broken. But it can't happen every time someone has to break your heart. It is not someone, it is the spirit on you makes people to break your heart. It is not just everybody who wakes up in the morning just to cause in a heart. No. It is a spirit on you. So you're like, oh, I'm doing a tender. So happy about it. There's a project I'm about to do. Before you know it, disappointment. You try another business. Before you know it, disappointment. You try another thing. Before you know it, heartbroken. It is not the businesses that you are doing that are a problem. It is you. There is a spirit of happiness to cause inner hearts, to cause brokenness. It is a demon. It is a spirit on you. All the times you must be broken. You must be disappointed. It is a spirit. Somebody say, I rebuke you. Can you add, can you speak can you speak with an attitude? Don't talk like the devil is your neighbor and your friend. So I rebuke you. So you wonder, do, do I have somebody here who says, prophet, you know what? Anything I try to do, I end up being disappointed in the end. Can I, do I have anybody here who says, I've tried so many things, but there are so many disappointments I get. It is not you trying to do it. It is a system. There is a spirit that you must rebuke. Why you? Why Chinese when they try to do anything successful? Why Indians when they try to do anything successful? Why only you? <laughs> Somebody said fire. <laughs> Somebody said collapse now. Are you hearing me? Some of you, you will see God that he is alive after this sermon tonight. Until today, you don't see it because there's a spirit that blocks you. You see, the evening feels solid. The, the, it gets into a level where you'll be like, I don't know why with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I did this. It never worked. It is a spirit of heaviness. It, it is what it wants you to be. You must always feel heavy. You must always feel broken. You must always feel disappointed. You must always feel useless, worthless. This morning, when I was praying, God told me, he said, break that spirit. And therefore, I have come on this altar. I command that spirit to break. <laughs> to other people, it manifests in business. To other people, it manifests in relationships. To other people, it manifests in ministry. No matter how they try in ministry, nothing works. It is a demon, a spirit, a prosperity of heaviness. To some people, it manifests at their workplace. They will never be promoted because the enemy wants them to feel the heaviness. To some people, it manifests in their career. Anything they try, it does not work. But I want you to see this. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that the devil was more crafty than any living creature. Until today, he is so clever. He knows how to touch you. He knows if he comes like a demon that you know, you will rebuke him. So he comes with heaviness. He puts up something on you. Until now, some of you, you have got issues he has put on you. I, 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 are you understand what I'm saying? And they are weighing you down. Let's continue. Another sign to show you have been attacked by the spirit of heaviness. Suicidal thoughts. Do you have anybody here who ever thought, I think there was a time whether you were young or just some thoughts just came in your mind. Like I think I was thought to die. Can I ask your hand up? Do you know what was happening that time? It was an attack of heaviness. It's 
Suicidal thoughts. Suicidal thoughts. Another sign to show you are under the spirit of heaviness. Regrets. Until today you are regretting. You live with your wife in the house. And your wife is regretting until today. Why did I marry this guy? Say heaviness. Say out. Ah. Regrets. Say regrets. The moment you begin to regret. Someone told me, I regret being in the ministry. I just knew that this guy, his calling has finished. He's under attack of a spirit. And the spirit that is attacking this man, it is a principality of heaviness. The moment you begin to regret, I rebuke you. Yeah. I, I, are you following what I'm saying? The Bible says we do not lose hope. Crash down. But not what? Not broken. Rejected, but not abandoned. <laughs> the spirit of heaviness. What else? The moment you see Continue the burdens. If you have got a burden that is not getting out, it's a spirit of heaviness. This could be a loan, a long term loan, debts that you fail to give. Hear me. I know there are debts and there are loans, and people do that. It's not wrong. It is not wrong. But when you are under attack, the devil comes in to use. Your loan, your debt, to use it and finish you. If I were you right now, if I were you right now, I could have already said I rebuke you, Satan. <laughs> but I'm not you, that's a problem. Do you know? He will put you at a place where the spirit of heaviness must keep on working. You even get a moment, you begin to be like, it's even before I was praying, I was better. Regretting. A spirit of heaviness. There are people who are regretting. Right now. So I rebuke you, Satan. Let me just finish. Are you ready? Lack of sleep. There are people who have a problem of not sleeping as a biological disorder. As a biological disorder. But there are people who it is a spirit of heaviness. Did you hear me? Sometimes, it's it going to be God trying to speak to you. You need to fight that spirit until it goes. Lack of sleep. Are you hearing me? I'm telling you now. I want you, what I'm speaking here, the, I want you to, to, to put some checks in your family. It could be you or not you. But I want you to do this. I want you to put some checks. Put some checks. Tonight we need to command this spirit to live. It is mentioned in the Bible. Now let's go again on scriptures. Quickly, let me read the following scriptures for you. All right? Let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs 15 verse 13. And after that we're going to go to Nehemiah 2 verse 2. All right? Again, in the Proverbs. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, 
the spirit is broken. Nehemiah. Therefore the king said to me, why is your face sad since you are not sick? This is nothing but sorrow of heart. So I became dreadfully aflame. Let's go to the book of Psalms. 69 verse 20. Reproach has broken my heart. And I'm fully, I'm, and I'm full of heaviness. Oh. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. The moment you begin to make these statements, I have no one to talk to. I feel like this. I feel like that. You are under attack. You must be very careful. Raise up your hands. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke this spirit from my family. Say in the name of Jesus. What makes me to be frustrated so I can be disappointed all the times? I rebuke it. 